Hi guys, Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips. More ideas that uh, may or may not be for you. Let me make clear once again <laughs> that I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you options. I'm just giving you opinions and ideas. What you do with them is entirely up to you. <laughs> Don't give me a hard time. But anyway, here we go. We did a video just a little while ago, Kevin, about AI computers, artificial intelligence. No, no, no. Artificial intelligence. They're the ones that tell you whether you can dive or not. No. AI means air integrated. That is a dive computer that measures your air consumption. Not your air pressure, not your tank pressure. Any idiot can do that. Air consumption. It actually measures how long your air is going to last through your dive. It tells you how much longer the air will last. That's valuable information. So this is a, an air integrated computer. Okay, and this is on a hose. So this is similar to your SPG. This hose is only there for one reason, and that's to tell this computer, this thing up here, what the tank pressure is. And with that information inside with the computer, and knowing how deep you are, and knowing how quickly you're breathing, and how quickly the pressure is dropping, it can calculate your air consumption and then tell you how long the air supply is going to last. It's a quick summary of what an AI computer does. So there you go. And uh, th this, is, uh, this is excellent. There are several models in the market. This is uh, atomic, cobalt, oceanic, asm, U.S. dye. Everybody has these. Okay. And this is, uh, this is the earlier style of air integrated computer. It works really, really well. There's another style of air integrated computer. Yeah, looks like this. Isn't that nice? Small, compact, that's it. That's it. That's my air integrated computer. No hose. Some people call it wireless. I don't know if wireless is right. There never were any wires. You see any wires here? I don't see any wires here. But anyway, it's technically it's called hoseless. This is not a keyboard, it's wireless. This is hoseless, so there's no hose involved. There it is. And this, this does all my normal calculations, depth, time, and, and repetitive dive, and logs my dives, and everything else. But it also does my air integration. Yeah, this measures the air pressure. How does it do that? There's no hose. Well, it's really very simple. If you take a look at your regulator, on the regulator in the high-pressure port, there's this little device sticking out. What the heck is that? Well, it's simple. You already know this. I'm sure that's a transmitter. So this is a transmitter that uses a, sp a specific frequency. Again, a lot of people are mistaken. They think it's this radio frequency. Uh, not at all. A specific frequency, and it measures the air pressure and then sends that information to this. Hey, exactly. Every few seconds it measures that and sends it to this. That's all there is to it. So you take out your old hose, throw away your SPG, put it in your museum actually, and then this goes in place of it, and there you go. Put it on your tank, and as soon as you turn on the, the, the tank, it starts sending the pressure to your wrist computer. I think they're fantastic. I really do. Of course, I'm, you know, I like toys, if you like, as long as they are useful toys. Well, this is useful. Why is this useful? Well, first of all, you guys are always, divers in general, not just you guys, but divers in general are always saying, hey, get rid of the hoses, get rid of the hoses, you know, get rid of that safe second hose, I'm modeling on my BC and all those other ideas, some good, some bad, so let's get rid of the hose. Well, that's certainly got rid of the hose. Do you see a hose? No, there's no hose. So that's very, very nice. I put this on my wrist, easy to read, it's right there, I don't have to clip it anywhere, it doesn't drag on the reef. I put my regular on the tank, ready to go diving. Turn on the air pressure, boom, there's the air pressure right there. And the consumption, you got 3,000 PSI, and at the current depth, the surface is going to last for an hour and a half. It'll make more sense when I get underwater, right? I get down to 60 feet, it says, I, whatever. It's all on there right there. So what's good about it and what's bad about it? Well, what's bad about it is um, this is smaller. You could forget it. This is like your cellular phone, like your mobile phone. Yeah, it's smaller. Wow, what's good about it is exactly that. There's no hose. You got this on your wrist. You can actually use this, leave this. I know some divers that do this. They're going on a dive trip for a week. They put this on on Monday, and they'll leave it on, take it off the following Monday when they get home. This becomes their dive computer. Everything that involved with that and becomes their wristwatch for that week. They got dual time. There's all those functions in there. Dual times. You can have the time here. You can have the time in Egypt, and you just leave it on your wrist. So that's kind of nice. You know, you can't do that with this hose-mounted one. A couple other things are kind of nice about it. Yeah. If you decide to go for a snorkel dive, go snorkeling somewhere, you're not going to take this with you. 
Absolutely, you're gonna have to drag the whole regulator. This is not always a good waterproof connection in there. You can take the head off, you're gonna carry it around. This stays on your wrist. So you know the date, the time, how long you've been out. You know the direction, built-in compass, absolutely. And the diving, you know how deep, it's all there. So you actually can wear your computer even if you're snorkeling. Not a bad idea. Supposing at some particular point, you're gonna be diving with a rental regulator, you've got your computer. You don't necessarily, if, you're not, if you don't have this, you have no computer. So there are some reasons why it's good. Now, some people have said to me, yeah, you know, Alec, I don't trust that hoseless or wireless thing, whatever you want to go. I don't trust that. I've heard some divers lose connectivity. They lose connectivity all the time, all the time. Instantly, they reconnect. It's all, all automatic. Most of the wrist-mounted or hoseless wireless computers, whatever you call it, are designed that way. Sure, they may, if you're within that 36 inch, usually it's three feet distance from the wrist computer to the transmitter. It'd be nice and, and it'd be good if they were connected all the time, but they're not necessarily. So when people say, well, they lose connectivity. Yeah, they do. They're designed that way. And they lose connectivity for whatever reason and they connect almost instantly once again. So losing connectivity is not a real big issue. And I always come back to the old saying, hey, if there's a problem, if you look at your computer, be it one of these hoseless or the hose type or your SPG, doesn't matter. If you're looking at any piece of gear, you look at it and it's not functioning properly, what do you do? You safely go to the surface. The dive's over. Darn. Not a big deal. I hear people saying, well, I don't get a computer because the computers break down all the time and it could kill me. Number one, computers don't kill. <laughs> Number two, if you're looking at your computer throughout the dive as you ought to be, and you notice that, uh-oh, this thing isn't working right, you signal your buddy and you go up to the surface. Not a really big deal. It's the same as if your regulator malfunctions. You go to the surface. So, I don't know. I like it. Light, small. I can take it on the plane. I can wear it the whole week. Connectivity is not an issue, and certainly as, as these computers develop even more, the connectivity is, I've never had an issue with this particular one, it's quite new. I know some divers have, maybe it's time to get a new one, but I think they're a great idea. Anyway, you think about that, do some more reading about it, but I think if you have uh, a, 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 uh, an air integrated computer, the next step, the next time you need to get a new one or replace it, you should look at a, a wireless or a hoseless air integrated. If you don't have any computer at all, you're looking at your first purchase of a computer. You've made that step. You've said, yeah, you know what? I'm going to be diving a lot more. I am diving a lot. I got to, I got to get into the 21st century, <laughs> get away from the dive, uh, the SPGs that were built and first made in 1962. Uh, do the math, 80 years ago. 60, no, 40, uh, 60 years ago. <laughs> it's time for me to modernize. You're going to get your first computer. Take a look at them. The hoseless wrist computers. See if it wouldn't be right for you. Anyway, there you go. Alec Pierce, Tech Tips. Talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye, guys.